Hello, this is Bashar. In this one, I will show the debugger of VS Code. In the previous video, I showed the same thing on the Chrome Developer Tools. Now, I'm going to show how we can do the same thing in VS Code. I'm using the same project for this tutorial as well. You can check the repository link in the description. Now, I'm going to do the debugging in VS Code and for this one, we need an extension and that extension is this one. JavaScript de debugger from Microsoft and I'm going to use this one and for this one we will just open the command palette and we will just type the JavaScript debug terminal and just click this one. This is going to be opening a new terminal right here and you will be seeing JavaScript debug terminal right here and basically we will just run the application and we do that by running npm start. Now the application is running and uh, we need to open the browser and we need to use the link right here in this terminal. Basically, I'm just going to click this one to open the browser. So the browser is open, just changing the size right here. So just like doing the things in the Chrome developer tools, we will uh, do the same thing here as well. Now, as you can see, there are options like the pause, the step over, step into, and return, like the, the, the actions we see in the Chrome developer tools. And again, we are going to debug the functionality of this submit right here. And we can at the breakpoint uh, just by clicking to this line. And here the red marker is indicating there's this breakpoint. And let's click the sign up. Now the code execution is stopped right here and this line is highlighted. This is the where our breakpoint is. And we switch to the, the debug, uh, debug part right here in the VS Code. Just like we see on the Chrome developer tools, we have the sections like the variables, we have the call stack here, and we have like breakpoints here. So basically we are going to focus to this part for now. And just like the actions we see on the Chrome, we also have the same thing right here. We can just step over this line and we have this body and it's initially undefined, just going over that one as well. And here we have the body having these fields which are empty at the moment. And we can also see the same thing here in this variable section. Now just going over the set API progress and sending the request to backend, sending this body. And this is failing because the fields are empty and here we can focus to the error. And in this error response, we see it is uh, 400 bad request and there is validation errors in the response. And basically we update the errors object in our state with the validation errors, jumping over and those errors are visible at the moment and we are saying the API progress is completed. So we follow the same steps uh, like we did in the, uh, the Chrome developer tools. And again, let's fill the form and let's fix the issue this time. Now clicking sign up. Again, we are here in this line 44 stepping over. Now we are creating a body object containing the information we entered to these inputs. Stepping over this line, stepping over this line as well. Now we have this response and if you can check the response here, it is 200 okay. And in the response data, we have this message saying, please check your email for account activation. Basically we try to, pass that information to this sign up success, but we have a typo here. So like if we hover on this response, we have the, 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 the fields in it, but if we hover on this one, we got undefined. So just, we are trying to access a message of an undefined object. So if we try to do this, then we jump into this catch block and within this catch block, we have this error object, which is having just this text message in it. And when we try to access to response of this error, which doesn't have response in it, we fail at this line. So if I 
go over the error, I see the error. If I go over the response, it is saying undefined and the rest are does not have uh, value. So just jumping over on this one as well. And this is the failing case. Now we can just fix it right here. I just uh, set the correct field. It's data, saving it. And this is reloading the application. And we can just uh, resume here. And let's reload here as well. Now having the same breakpoint, so just re reloaded the application here after the changes and trying it one more time with the the data user one at mailcom password. So here at the breakpoint, stepping over, stepping over. Now we have the response. Now if we go over these variables, now we have the data and data is a basic object and in this object the message we have this please check your email for account activation so we are properly taking the value and if we just step over we this is successful and it's not hitting to the catch then we just go to this part and the execution is finished so that's how we can use this extension this javascript debugger uh, to debug web applications uh, by using the Chrome. Uh, basically, just don't forget, uh, just you need to click to the link. So this is opening a new Chrome window and those actions being uh, actually tracked within this uh, VS Code session. So your breakpoints will only be capturing the events being triggered on that uh, Chrome window opened after you click to the link right here. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.